Breaking news this morning out of Jacksonville, Florida. Take a look at this. A Boeing 737 skidding off the end of a runway and into a river. It was a charter plane carrying 143 people and traveling from Cuba to North Florida. There were no critical injuries or deaths reported. One official calling that a miracle. And so the question this morning, how did this happen? Our aviation analyst is standing by, but let's start here with ABC's Ariel Reshef, who has all the breaking details. Ariel, good morning. Good morning to you guys. So many questions this morning. Officials say this was a disaster averted. Now the NTSB is investigating what caused that plane to slide off the runway into the water. Frightening moments on board this Boeing 737 after officials say it slid off the runway right into this Jacksonville River. Several people injured, but amazingly, all survived. It is a miracle. I could have ended very, we could be talking about a different story this evening. Rescuers racing to the scene. 143 passengers and crew members on the Department of Defense charter forced to evacuate onto the wing, where they boarded rafts, ferrying them to shore. We climbed onto the wing. We couldn't tell where we were, whether it was a river or an ocean. More than 80 fire and rescue crews responding, including a hazmat team working to control jet fuel leaking into the water. The flight was a regularly scheduled charter en route from Naval Station Guantanamo Bay in Cuba to Jacksonville. 358 Roger, we're painting some weather over Navy Jacks. How does uh, 10 degrees left look for me? Fire officials saying the plane hit a rough patch of weather just before touching down. Obviously, the best case scenario would be that the aircraft is on the runway, but uh, given the circumstances, it absolutely uh, is the best case. This morning, the NTSB launching a full team to Jacksonville to investigate. Boeing releasing a statement saying the company extends its well wishes to all those involved and is providing technical assistance. 21 passengers were taken to the hospital, but there were no broken bones or life-threatening injuries. President Trump tweeting overnight, the White House is monitoring developments here. Incredible. Nobody got hurt. It really is a miracle. All right. Thank you, Ariel. Let's bring in retired Marine Corps Colonel and ABC News contributor Steve Ganyard, who served in the Pentagon and as a fighter pilot. He joins us from Washington. Good morning to you. Good morning, Eva. As we just heard, there was severe weather at the time of this landing. What sort of challenges would that have created for the crew? Well, it, not just severe weather, Evie, there were thunderstorms, and sometimes thunderstorms can create microbursts that actually increase the touchdown speed of the airplane. There was probably standing water on the, on the runway, so an airplane can hydroplane just like you may feel your car sometimes when you're going down the highway. Uh, but in this case, they'll also look at, was there air crew error? Did the pilots properly calculate their touchdown speed, and did they plan properly, or, or is there a mechanical problem maybe with the brakes or the thrust reversers? But if you look at those pictures, pictures there, you can see how lucky not only the crew but the passengers on this airplane were. The St. John River is very shallow right at the end of the runway there at Navy Jacks, and uh, if there had been a building or a drop-off there, this could have, as that captain said there, could have been a very different story. Now, this plane was a Boeing 737. The aerospace company, as we all know, has been in the headlines a lot recently for issues with other planes. Should people be concerned about this? Is this more bad news for Boeing? No, this is this is the 800 model. This is the current generation of very very reliable airplane. Uh, you see them everywhere. It's it's the the biggest selling airplane in the world. This is not the new generation Max. It's a very different airplane. So nothing to think that there's a design problem here. I think they'll probably look at whether there was a mechanical problem, whether there was air crew error, and what role weather played in this mishap. All right, thank you, Steve Gagne, joining us in Washington. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.